Hi, I'm Jimmy Hendrick, and this episode is called The Fall of Adam and Eve on the Restored Church of Christ First Things. Earn your online degree faster at Purdue University Global by getting credit for past work experience. We've been specializing in virtual learning for more than 20 years. Okay, want to welcome everybody out to this uh, first portion of the sacrament meeting. For those of you who stay or stuck at home because of Delta variant, I'm going to help us have church together. Now, with that, let's go ahead. And we're going to sing an <coughs> introductory hymn, 303, Keep the Commandments. After which, uh, I will offer an opening prayer. Okay. Go. Here we go. Three oh three. Keep the commandments. for prayer. Heavenly Father, we're indeed thankful for this beautiful Sabbath, a chance to come and worship Thee with all our hearts. And may we stay strong during this time. <clears throat> may this Omicron variant pass from our households. And may we be stronger because of it. We invite thy spirit into this day. We say this humbly in the name of thy son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Good morning. I want to talk to you about something that we've been studying this past weekend. It's about the fall of Adam and Eve. You know, <clears throat> growing up as a small child, I I didn't know that much about the fall. Except maybe when I was 10, 11 years old. Being a good old Baptist boy, I remember my good old Baptist preacher talking about how evil and how bad the fall was. See, a lot of Christians buy into what's known as 
guilt under the original sin. And so, after church, a lot of the conversations at home, you know, in some degree among family and friends and my parents, was, and I quote, Eve shouldn't eat that apple. And so, I believe that. Now, fast forward 20 years. <clears throat> it's March 1st, 2001. Or thereabouts, maybe the 28th of, 28th of February, the 1st of March. I'm sitting there, you know, before going off to school. I'm reading the Book of Mormon for the first time with real intent. And I stumble across 2 Nephi 2, where Lehi has given his discourse about the fall of Adam and Eve. And as I read, I have to say that it really, it really cut me to my center. Especially what verse 25 of chapter 2 says. Adam fell that men might be. And men are that they might have joy. <clears throat> you see. The rest of the Christian world doesn't preach that. You go to any church of diamond does. And they talk about the, they talk about the fall. They call it the fall of man. And, you know, I'm sure some of the stories are like, well, if Eve just hadn't ate that apple. It all comes down to, you know, the fall happened. Adam blamed Eve, Eve blamed the serpent. Bad, 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 bad. Curses all around. But for those of you in and outside the church, let me entertain you with this supposition. Suppose they had never fallen. They would have broken one of God's commandments. And that commandment is to be fruitful and multiply. And some of you may be arguing, oh, well now hold up just a minute, uh, Jimmy, and uh, they already broke one commandment by eating of the fruit which God said not to partake of. Yes, they did. But this is the beauty of what the church teaches. The foreknowledge of God. God knew beforehand, you see, he wanted, that, he wanted everyone to come to earth and for there to be a redeemer. That could not have happened. If Adam and Eve had not had not fallen, they would have remained in a state in the Garden of Eden. Possibly no joy. We wouldn't be here. That's that's the beauty of it. We wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the fall of, of, of Adam and Eve. So that we can experience joy. And know that there's an opposition in all things. Light and darkness. Sweet and bitter. Love and hate. Pleasure and pain. Let me tell you something. I firmly believe in those things. I firmly believe in those principles. I can't deny that the real and that they exist. So many, so many people today live under the shroud of original sin. They'll open up a passage in the Bible. 
typically that says that all are under original, they are guilt of original sin. But if they would just give the gospel a chance, they would know that that's not necessarily the case. Adam and Eve fell that I might be. And one of the things I forget, even during this Omicron variant, is that I'm here to have joy. <clears throat> now, I hope you enjoyed listening to, El to the Church of Jesus Christ First Things. If you like what you hear, please subscribe and become a part of this family. This is Jimmy Hendrix saying until next time, remember who you are. Read your scriptures and preach the gospel. God bless you.